Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, we're looking at how you can add an outline to your image really easily in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and get started straight away. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative. And on this channel, I help you create better content using Canva. I'm a Canva creator myself. I create templates and you can check out the links all in the description down below. One thing I do want to update you on before we get into today's tutorial is the new video features. If you've not checked out the video on the new video features that are coming, I'll put a link up here and also down in the description below. But let's dive into Canva and I'll show you how you can potentially access these features early. Okay, here we are. We're in Canva and this is just one of my other kind of like accounts that I use. It's just a free account. But if you do want to try Canva Pro free for 45 days, there's a link down below. Now, when you come in to create design, if you want to try out the new features and hopefully this works on this one, you can come over to create design. And if you type in video or select video of the new features, it's going to load and it's going to give you this option here, the new Canva video editor open beta. So don't click this never show again. You can click try it for free. And then on this, you can then access the new video features. So you can see here, you should have the new transitions and you should be able to add multiple audio. So if I just click on audio on here, I'm just going to click this audio. You can see the new video features and it's stacking those up there. So that's how you can quickly access the new video features in Canva. But let's get on to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how to easily outline an image in Canva. So a bit like in this thumbnail, you'll see I've chosen this person here and it's got a really nice outline here. And you can do this really easily now in Canva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new design. It doesn't have to be any particular design. It can be any design you want. I'm going to choose Instagram post because that's coming up first. And then all you do is you'll come to your photos and the one I chose in particular was someone that's already cut out. Now it doesn't have to be cut out. If you've got Canva Pro, I'm just going to change the color of the background here. So it shows the outline a bit better. If you've got Canva Pro, remember you can choose to remove the background and I'll show you that quickly on there. So if you come over and you've got a photo of, uh, let's just choose person, let's type in person. So we've got a picture of a person here. You've got a picture, this could be you or whoever it is that you want to remove the background on. You just come over to edit image and you click remove at the background. And if you've not got Canva Pro, as I say, there's a free trial for 45 days down in the link in the description below. You can also use remove.bg. Um, I prefer to just use it directly in Canva. It's a lot easier. The image is normally of a higher resolution as well. So there you go. Just remove the background of this person. Now, once we've removed the background and we're happy with the actual image, all we need to do is we need to click away click back on the image and then click onto the image. You should see shadows or if you don't see it, it'll somewhere be down here once you've clicked on that edit image option. And this is where you can add the glow. You can also add different other shadows, but the one we're looking at today in order to create that outline is this glow effect in Canva. Now the glow effect will come on and you'll think, well, that's not worked notice there's these three lines here which is where you can further edit your image click on these further images and you can change the color so i can change that to white if i want and you're like well okay that's okay and you change the transparency up to 100 and turn the blur down now i tend to like to add a one on my blur just gives it that little bit of something i think that having no blur is a little bit bit too harsh and you can also change the size so if I want a bigger outline, you can do uh, tend to kind of like go for around about 10 on the outline side of things. And then you just click apply and there you go. That's how you can add an outline to your image. Now, magic thing is 
is now you've applied that you can now come on and you can also click edit image again come on to shadows and if you want you can actually add a second outline to this so you can't adjust the outline on the image there you, you you'd have to go back and start again if you weren't happy with the way the outlines come out there but what you can do is you can come on and you can add glow and i'm going to click on edit this image and i'm going to change this to pink and on there we're going to change up the transparency to 100 again change the blur down to one and then change the size to say eight this time so it's a slightly smaller outline there you go you've got another outline so you've got a double outline image really easily and that's how you can do that in canva so just stretch this image up a little bit there you go that's exactly how you do it I hope this has helped really quick tutorial today to show you the outline of the image i've also just launched memberships on my youtube channel here so if you're not a member and you want to check out the memberships there there's some exclusive content that i'm going to be creating to give you access to if you've got any questions about the memberships drop me a comment down below in the video here or on my community tab on the channel and i'm always happy to try and help you but members will be getting priority for questions when they ask on videos as this channel grows it just gives me a way to engage with the members on this channel and give something back to those people that help me support this channel so do check those out let me know if you've got any questions down below and until next time thank you very much and bye for now you can't